Hello everyone and welcome back to The Little Quilter. Today we are going to be continuing work on the produce section and I know that I'm super late with this. Part of that is because there was an issue with the payment on because it's a block of the month so it's a subscription that I have that comes every month and they had changed their payment portal and the notification of that went to my junk mail so I didn't get it. Um, until a little bit late but I finally did get it delivered and like I said we're working on the produce section by Elizabeth Hartman and this month we are working on the raspberry block so super excited about that and was really excited with these beautiful pink colors that we've got right here I, they're just so vibrant more of the as you guys know the George Jetson fabric going on here but there's also some really they're just so pink and fun. And you know what, as I, when I was little, I wasn't a big pink fan, but as I've gotten older, I've become a little bit more of a pink, maybe not so like hot pink, but that sort of like dusty pink rose color. I'm really liking that. And like, at some point I'm thinking about redoing this room and I'm thinking maybe some dusty pink pops of color, but I don't know. Okay, that's a whole nother story. <laughs> So let's go ahead. I've got all of the pieces cut. There were a lot of little bitty pieces this time around and we're gonna jump in to get in this thing sewn. So let's do it. All right, everybody, so we've got the bottom of the berry, or maybe just the berry. I say the bottom because we still have to do the top. And I do have this portion as well that goes up here, but these are to be attached to the stem. So now we've got to jump in to making the stem, and then we'll be ready to put on the borders of this and this block will be done. So it's coming together fairly quickly. You know, the good part about it is a lot of it is mostly squares. These little blocks, obviously, a lot of diagonal seam quilting there, and those were, per the usual in an Elizabeth Hartman quilt, you know, a little bit fussy and a little bit time consuming, but they do make the block look beautiful. And I really love this beautiful pop of pink fabric. It is just, so much fun for the new year, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and get the top of the raspberry done.
Right, so I have just got to um, iron these pieces, but I'm going to go ahead and attach the next part down here. So that's the, the top of the berry here. But this part was definitely fiddly. All of these just triangles right here really kept messing with, with my mind. So I had to keep looking at the instructions to make sure that I was doing it right. You know, the good part about this part is you can pretty much just sew straight down the seam and then cut them and adjust the direction on their own. So these are not that fiddly, um, but you do want to make sure that when you're then sewing these part that you make sure to do the green to the tan. For some reason, I I don't know why, but I, in my head, I just wanted it to go the other direction. And I don't know why berries, you know, I guess you want them to stick up versus coming down. But um, that's just a fiddly part there to remember whenever you're doing this block. Otherwise, it came out pretty nicely. The back, I um, sewed this part inward rather than opening these seams. It just seemed like a better way to keep all of this nice and flat. You know, there's a lot of seams right through here, but for me doing this, and I've done this a fair number of times on an Elizabeth Hartman quilt because she does tend to have a lot of seams and when we have one little center block, it always just seems nicer to actually just do what you would normally do and fold that seam over. So um, that's my little point. Now we're gonna get on to doing these and then we'll be able to put our berry together which will be really nice. All right, everybody, we have finished it. This is the completed block. So this is the raspberry block, and I think all in all came together pretty quickly. A lot of time taken for cutting out all of these little squares that were used in all of these rounded corners here. So that definitely took time, and um, but I think the end result is definitely well worth it. And I love just the bright pop of pink. I don't think we've had that bright pop of pink as much this at this point. So um, some of the other blocks here, and of course I will show you all of them. They are not perfect, but I think they look pretty good. And as always, I will leave you guys with the information. This is the produce section quilt by Elizabeth Hartman. I'm doing it as a block of the month. And I'm sorry about being late this month. You know, uh, we that shouldn't happen again from here on out. So. Um, you know, if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know. If you're enjoying doing the produce section, let me know. And as always, have a wonderful day. Thanks.